Did you hear me? No. What? Look. Hospital. This is where we get off. Let's go, kiddo. <laughs> you feel that breeze, huh? I tell you, on a day like this, I just sit on my porch, pick away my sex string. Yeah, you know, once we're done with this whole thing, I'm gonna teach you how to play guitar. Yeah, I reckon you'd really like that. What do you say, huh? Ellie, I'm talking to you. Huh? Oh. Yeah, sure, that sounds great. I dreamt about flying the other night. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Go on, tell me about it. So, I'm on this big plane full of people, and everyone is screaming and yelling because the plane's going down. So I walk to the cockpit, open the door, but there's no pilot. I try to use the controls, but I obviously have no clue how to fly a plane. And right before we crash, I wake up. I've never been on a plane. Isn't that weird? Well, you know, dreams are weird. Look at that. Another city, another abandoned quarantine zone. There's that hospital the Firefly mentioned. Come on, kiddo. Maybe we cut through here, huh? Everything all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, you just kind of seem extra quiet today. Oh, sorry. No, it's not... It's fine. Here we go. Ellie? Ellie? What? A ladder. Come on. Right. Oh my god. What is it? Ellie! Ellie! You gotta see this. What is it? What the hell is that? Are you kidding me? Come on, hurry up. Slow down, kiddo. <laughs> Thank you. 
Is everything you were hoping for? <laughs> it's got its ups and downs, but you can't deny the view, though. We don't have to do this. You know that, right? <sighs> What's the other option? Go back to Tommy's. Just be done with this whole damn thing. After all we've been through. Everything that I've done. It can't be for nothing. Look, I know you mean well, but there's no halfway with this. Once we're done, we'll go wherever you want, okay? Well, I ain't leaving without you. So let's go wrap this up. This place takes me back. How so? It was right after everything went down. I ended up in a triage just like this. And everywhere you look, you just saw families torn apart. Whole damn world seemed to have turned upside down in a blink. Was that after you lost Sarah? Yes, it was. I can't imagine losing someone you love like that. Losing everything that you know. I'm sorry, Joel. It's okay, Ellie. What do you mean? Let me go ahead, and you follow my lead. Okay, right behind you. Come on, jump. You're gonna catch me? I got you. See? You didn't even need me. Let's get the hell off this thing.
Hands in the air! She's not breathing. Hands in the fucking air! Come on, man. April 28th. Marlene was right. The girl's infection is like nothing I've ever seen. The cause of her immunity is uncertain. As we've seen in all past cases, the antigenic titers of the patient's cordyceps remain high in both the serum and the cerebrospinal fluid. Blood cultures taken from the patient rapidly grow cordyceps and fungal media in the lab. However, white blood cell lines, including percentages and absolute counts, are completely normal. There is no elevation of pro-inflammatory cytokines, and an MRI of the brain shows no evidence of fungal growth in the limbic regions, which would normally accompany the prodrome of aggression in infected patients. We must find a way to replicate this state under laboratory conditions. We're about to hit a milestone in human history equal to the discovery of penicillin. After years of wandering in circles, we're about to come home, make a difference, and bring the human race back into control of its own destiny. All of our sacrifices and the hundreds of men and women who've bled for this cause, or worse, will not be in vain. Welcome to the Fireflies. Sorry about the... They didn't know who you were. And Ellie? She's all right. They brought her back. <sighs> you came all this way. How'd you do it? It was her. <clears throat> she fought like hell to get here. Maybe it was meant to be. <clears throat> I lost most of my crew across in the country. I pretty much lost everything. And then you show up and somehow we find you just in time to save her. Maybe it was meant to be. Take me to her. You don't have to worry about her anymore. We'll take care I of her. I worry. Just let me see her, please. You can't. She's being prepped for surgery. The hell do you mean, surgery? The doctors tell me the cordyceps, the growth inside her, has somehow mutated. It's why she's immune. Once they remove it, they'll be able to reverse engineer a vaccine. A vaccine. But it grows all over the brain. Does. Find someone else. There is no one else. Listen, you were gonna show me where. Stop. I get it. But whatever it is you think you're going through right now is nothing to what I have been through. I knew her since she was born. I promised your mother I would look after her. Then why are you letting this happen? Because this isn't about me. Or even her. There is no other choice here. <sighs> yeah, you keep telling yourself that bullshit. March him out of here. He tries anything, shoot him. Don't waste this gift, Joe. Get up. I said get up. I said move. Give me an excuse. Which way? What the fuck are you doing? Keep walking. I said keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> 
Where was the operating room? I ain't got time for this. Where? Where? Top floor, the far end. It's 5.30 p.m. on April 28th. I just finished speaking, <laughs> more like yelling at our head surgeon. Apparently there's no way to extricate the parasite without eliminating the host. <laughs> Fancy way of saying we gotta kill the fucking kid. And now they're asking for my go-ahead. The tests just keep getting harder. And harder, don't they? I'm so tired. I'm exhausted. And I just want this to end. So be it. Jesus. Doctor? What are you doing? I won't let you take her. Don't come any closer. can't save her. Even if you get her out of here, then what? How long before she's torn to pieces by a pack of clickers? That is, if she hasn't been raped and murdered first. It ain't for you to decide. It's what she'd want. And you know it. Look. You can still do the right thing here. She won't feel anything. are still wearing off. What happened? We found the fireflies. Turns out there's a whole lot more like you, Ellie. People that are immune. There's dozens, actually. I ain't done them a damn bit of good, neither. They've actually... They've stopped looking for a cure.
and taking us home. Sorry. Wait! Let me go! Just come after her. Like we're walking. Should be a straight shot through here. All right. It's actually kind of pretty, ain't it? Yeah. All right. Now, what's your head going through? Now, I don't think I ever told you, but uh, Sarah and I used to take hikes like this. I think, uh, I think the two of you would have been would have been good friends. I think you really would have liked her. I know she'd have liked you. I bet I would have. <laughs> A little bit further now. There, I got you. Back in Boston? Back when I was bitten? I wasn't alone. My best friend was there. And she got bit too. We didn't know what to do. So... She says... Let's just wait it out. You know, we can be all poetic and just lose our minds together. I'm still waiting for my turn. Ellie. Her name was Riley, and she was the first to die. And then it was Tess. And then Sam. None of that is on you. Oh, you don't understand. I struggled for a long time with surviving. And you... No matter what... You keep finding something to fight for. Now, I know that's not what you want to hear right now. Swear to me. Swear to me that everything that you've said about the Fireflies is true. I swear.
Thank you.